He's wintered really well, delighted the way he's trained um, in his build-up um, for Saturday's run. Drop of rain doesn't give us any concerns either, although we're quite versatile on, on pretty much any surface really. Um, but uh, no, very much looking forward to the, the season ahead. I believe enough in the horse to, to think he can take that step forwards. I, I very much hope and, and uh, believe we can, we can prove that on the track. What did you make of his final run last season? Not beaten far by Solo in the QE2, but he did pull very hard in the early stages. Yes, I mean, we, we did just have a small concern with an overreach that we had in the build-up um, 10 days before that race. And um, because of that, we probably just sent him there a, a little bit fresher than ideal, and, and it proved in the performance. Um, the fact that he pulled that hard early and was still only beaten three and a half lengths by Solo confirms my hopes and um, I believe we've had a, a you know, good preparation for his first run and I hope we can make his presence felt at the highest level um, you know, in, in the mile races ahead. He's run really well on his seasonal debuts in the past. Um, we've actually taken him away from home and had a couple of outings at Kempton, um, bearing in mind what a wet spring we've had. Um, which hopefully has just, you know, given him a chance to get that gas out of his system. And, um, you know, I'm thrilled the way he's looking. I think he's very versatile. He's, he's very um, much a trainer's dream in that respect, uh, having won on fast ground at Ascot um, as a two-year-old and, and, um, and Windsor last year. And then, obviously, I uh, don't think it could have been much slower than it was at Goodwood when he won the celebration mile. So we're, we're lucky in that respect. He's very versatile. And who will ride on Saturday? Jared Mosse is, is um, on board and um, he did really well on the horse last year and um, they formed a, a partnership that I'm pleased, um, you know, Jared's finished his time in Hong Kong for the time being so he's, he's back and that's great news. Are there plans to use him a bit more then through this season? Uh, Jared's always ridden for us so, um, you know, when he's available and in the UK but that takes nothing away from my other jockeys, Adam Kirby especially, who's, who's riding at the top of his game as well. Um, so, you know, I'd hope we've got a, a good team good team around us. And just looking at some of your other stable stars so far this season, Profitable, you said you thought he'd Im improved enormously over the winter. Even so, were you surprised how well he won the Palace House Stakes? No, I think with these sprinters, when they're in form, there, there is, you can expect those, those steps up. And, and he clearly proved. Um, I was a little bit worried when he was drawn... Um, because of the split in the stalls, there were only a cluster of horses on the stand side and I was more worried when he hit the front going into the dip. Uh, normally we'd be a little bit more patient how we, how we rode him. and um, So I was all the more impressed that he, he did what he did. He's come out of the race well and um, you know, it's, it's great to be looking forward to all the, the top you know, five furlong races with him. And it's the Temple Stakes next? That's the plan, yes. Um, he wouldn't be quite as much at home on a really soft surface, um, although we've run him on soft ground, he's out of an Indian Ridge mare. Um, he's probably better with a little bit more of a, uh, you know, a, a good surface is better for him than really testing. Um, he'll go for the Heron Stakes at Sandown, that's the intention, all being well with the ground. Um, but he's come out of the Guineas well, very happy. And um, so that's, that's our next intended start for him. He shows us enough promise at home that we definitely have a nice horse to keep working with. And, and that was a very pleasing run in, you know, in very hot company. I think he's better on a sounder surface than a slower surface. And um, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's a bit more to come from him. And moving on to uh, my dream boat, winner of the, um, the Gordon Richard stakes at Sandown, carrying a penalty. How's he come out of the race and where next? Very well indeed, thank you. Yeah. Um, and um, that step up to a mile and a quarter was very much uh, pleasing to see how he coped with it. And it's great when you have a horse that can change gear. He uh, has an entry in the Istapan, which is only a mile one, but a, on a track at Chantilly that he's won on in his listed race last year. Uh, he would appreciate a little bit more ease in the ground. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure that we're going to have a lot more fun with him for Paul and Claire Rooney. We ran him on quicker ground last year. Proper summer ground isn't his favour. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be taking our choices dependent on the weather.